Taurus, this is your weekly tarot card reading and astrology forecast. From me to you, from Born Without Boundaries, welcome to my tarot table, guys. My name is Michelle. If you're just arriving, thank you so much for clicking on my videos. These are weekly readings that I do for Taurus, so if you really love them, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content because there's 12 videos every single week for each zodiac sign and maybe you're curious what's going on with your rising sign or your moon sign because sometimes that actually is is going to resonate more than your sun sign. Uh, there's always an extended reading that I hope that you guys will join me for and those links are down below in the description box. Um, I'll also attach it to the top of the comment section. It's attached at the end of this video, so you can just click, click right on. Lots of different ways to get there, and I hope to see you there. And if you'd like, you can join me daily, five days a week, on my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation, where I go live and do a general tarot card reading live chat. So I hope to see you there, too. Uh, we're going to get into the astrology first and um, I'm going to shuffle the cards as I do but understand that the astrology and the cards always coincide at least in my mind <laughs> there you go um it's an interesting it's pretty straightforward astrology Venus is snug in Capricorn and there's a beautiful new moon that I think will give you a fresh perspective on what you value and why you value it you may experience that there's some conflict this week with somebody who wants to rush you or pressure you based on where they are or where they want to be or where they want you to want to be. And that could impact your value system in general changing if only to rebel a little bit. Remember Uranus is still very, very firmly planted in your first house and there is a sense of starting to see things differently based on the way people push you. There's a lovely sextile between Venus and Neptune which is going to add a romance and a hopefulness um, to your energy as well as a beautiful sense of creativity especially when it comes to the arts so use that and allow allow yourself to indulge in finding different aspects of you that are opening up maybe even different talents and skills that are opening up for you this week that maybe you have never experienced before and you don't want to be pushed too quickly into any kind of contract or obligation. There could be some conflict because of a says a square between Venus and, and Mars in retrograde. Um, in, in your romance life, there's high energy, there's high tension, there's high friction. It could just be a super powered sexual attraction, um, especially with the sextile to Neptune. It could be almost a whirlwind romance, though I'm not sure how long it would last. I would say that that could be something that you could also enjoy as well. Let's get into these cards. Y'all ready? Oh, it's lovely. So let me show you what we have on the table. We have art temperance coming up in the past. So there is a lot of creative energy from you guys. There is something that you maybe have been working on or putting together, or you have been feeling this aspect of yourself for a while. This is open-mindedness as well as extending your reach as to who you're interested in being around or learning from could even mean you're going global. Um, travel. Travel may be something that you are interested in and trying to set up in your life right now because you're done with the basic that's been in front of you and travel is an option now I know that Taurus energy generally likes to maintain but there's times in our lives when we don't want to maintain when we want to grow and we want to explore and this very well could be one of those times where you're starting to seriously consider not settling in or not um, um, committing yourself long term but instead exploring and using this time in your life to try different things and it doesn't have to mean travel if you're a family person and you are already are well established it could mean that you're just looking for different organizations or groups to be a part of or you're reading different books or you're learning another language there's something about you that's curious right now encourage it 
encourage it because this is the right time. And I think the things that you find now will be precious to you forever. Hold on. Current situation, we have eight of pentacles, which means doing work that you love and committing yourself to this work that you love. Something is working out and something is not. This sense is it's almost like you're feeling maybe unfulfilled by what you always used to do, right? By the, the things that once made you really happy and turned you on a lot, don't turn you on anymore. Now, there's feelings of guilt associated with that and I feel like there's some sort of internal struggle here. Reading these cards, the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Wands, you're fighting yourself, you're fighting your emotions, you're trying very hard to convince yourself that you want to stay and that you do still love this or love this situation, want this situation. And maybe you do, and maybe this is just a point in time for you where things are a little bit rocky or a little bit boring, which we all have to struggle through sometimes. And I'll get deeper into the cards to clarify. I could be speaking also to more than one group of Tauruses, right? Some of you might just have to fight for what you love and struggle through because you don't walk away at the first sign of struggle. But also some of you might be, and with regards to the astrology, this seems to be the case that um, you might be fighting with yourself and trying to convince yourself that something you once wanted, you should still want. And that's not true. And I understand the level of commitment that Taurus makes to things is, is beautiful. And many, many people in your life probably depend on it. But if there's something that's already showing you signs of not holding the same interest or not holding the same passion that it once did, maybe it's just you're growing and you're changing and you're interested in different things and you've started to be introduced to different things. And so the way that you, the things that you were once interested in or the way that you once did those things could be changing. And it's, it's good for you to allow yourself to evolve naturally that way and not hurt yourself with personal judgment. I said I was gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. You know, the, the promises you made to yourself in your 20s should not be the promises you're still keeping in your 40s in a lot of situations. In some situations, yes, let's like say you've committed yourself to your family and you're raising children, of course. We don't take those things lightly or just walk away from them easily. But maybe you're not interested in the same career. And a lot of this is happening in the career sector of the Zodiac. It's all taking place between Taurus, which is your Uranus is solidly planted in Taurus at your first house. And then you also have Capricorn, which isn't naturally your 10th house, but it is naturally the 10th house. And we have such a stellium of energy in Capricorn now that I would not be surprised if Venus, your ruling dignitary, which is in Capricorn right now, is starting to really think about and readjust herself to what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. And I, I get it. And it's like, what I would ask of you to treat yourself well and to just be respectful to you is to not judge or condemn yourself for thinking these thoughts, but allow yourself to think these thoughts and see where they go. At least investigate some things. Now let's read the cards in a different way. These are two, these two are pretty solid. They're pretty solid saying that, you know, what I once was working on now doesn't fulfill me anymore. It's come to its completion. At one point, it was really, really wonderful. Or something that you are working on, maybe it's a project, maybe you're in school, you know, you were loving it, but you realize that soon it's going to be over. So, oh no, what do I do next? What comes after this? So that could be causing some tension as well, but it's not negative. It's not negative tension. It's not, it's not unhealthy tension. It's actually quite exciting if you let it be because change is natural and change will come. We have the Queen of Cups here, which is loving. 
unconditional love. I'm seeing a full moon repeated here. So there's a lot of emotions that are happening in your life right now. Um, number one, do not give meaning to every little feeling. Do not give meaning to every little feeling. Honor the feelings by allowing them to happen, but don't place meaning on every single one of them. Sometimes, Taurus, you're just going to be sad. Sometimes, Taurus, you're just going to be worried. Sometimes you're just going to be scared. Sometimes you're just going to be happy. Sometimes you're going to be excited. Allow those events to happen, but don't immediately attach, oh, I'm scared. It means I should give up or I'm scared, which is not usually you. But oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. It means I should just marry this person tomorrow. It, you know what I'm saying? It's like slow and steady wins the race, but honor your feelings and allow those emotions to be felt. But this is saying that you put your help, you put yourself, you put everything into something. You've been working your butt off. I don't say ass. You know what I'm saying? Um, you've been working your ass off at something. And you've been fighting for something that you love a great deal. But the Eight of Cups is here. So there seems to be an ending with regards to it. So maybe it's not giving the thing up or the person up or the situation up. It's just how is this going to look in the future? Like how, how is this going to continue? If it can't continue the way it's been or if there's something that's about to finish, what is my next step? Okay, that's a question that we can go with right? Let's, let's get into it. I want to pull a moon card for you because this week we are going to be experiencing a new moon. It's going to happen tomorrow. And I got to tell you, it looks really peaceful for you guys. Really lovely, romantic energy. I do believe that there's a sextile that's happening between uh, Venus and Neptune at the time, but there's not many other big things happening. So you might just be able to breathe for a second, Taurus enjoy that breath enjoy that time to just not have to worry about things that could help clear your mind and clear your emotional palate so that you don't make any rash decisions based on feelings your hard work is paying off dude this is great <laughs> let me tell you why this is so good because this is the new moon in capricorn and that's exactly what you're going to be experiencing dudes come on, guys there's like 50 some cards in this deck and the one card that comes out for you is new moon in capricorn which is exactly what's going to be happening on the 23rd of december it's saying that there's good news that's coming there's good news that's coming to you based on what you have been working on now remember this is a general reading if you want specifics, we go to the extended, but I will tell you that apply this to where it resonates because this is your reading. So it could mean your actual work, your actual job, but it could also mean if you've been doing work with your relationships, if you've been doing work on yourself with the way that you look, whatever you have been busting your ass and putting the time in, it's paying off. Your hard work is paying off. I just heard this. If there was a situation that did not work, that was that you that, 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 that disappointed you, and that was letting you down, like get yeah, disappointed you, and um, you know you were surprised because you had worked really hard, um, and it didn't turn out well. This is saying that all your hard work, the cumulative of all the hard work you did will allow you to get through the rough patches of that specific failure. So you shouldn't think that if you failed once, you failed completely. A battle is not a war. Know what I'm saying? So think of your life not as a war, but as a total, as a cumulative, and take losses as losses and let them, let them be part of the past and keep moving on. Stick to your guns. If you love something, continue to fight for it. Your hard work is paying off. Let's get into more specifics. Okay, first of all, how is Taurus uh, being asked? Oh, wait, 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 seven of pentacles. 
your hard work is paying off. So Seven of Pentacles gives me some insight into the fact that there has been problems with actually putting things to use or actually turning your hard work around and turning it into something that's fruitful. You know, like she's picking, she's trying to pick fruit off trees, but Seven of Pentacles means she's had a hard time doing it. She's been working her butt off, but she hasn't seen any results, right? Well, sometimes the results aren't in tangible things. Sometimes the results are in what they're doing to you. Like, what has the hard work taught you? How has the hard work prepared you? What has the hard work, how has the hard work changed you? I think that's what I'm asking. How has the hard work changed you? And who are you now compared to who you used to be before you started to be brave enough to bust your butt and put the energy and effort in? Because the tangible changes may not be there yet. And I know you guys like to feel the tangible. You're ruled by Venus. You cannot help it. That's part of who you are. It's part of what makes you wonderful. But the tangibles are not the only um, payoffs, right? Sometimes it's just that now you have a stronger constitution and you're more sure of yourself. And that's what's going to actually lead to those tangible results because you won't give up. So let's see what we do about this Seven of Cups. I mean, sorry, Seven of Pentacles. Also... Four of Pentacles is saying, so what you've been, you've been, there's been some financial difficulties or worries in terms of moving forward. It's been holding you back because you're worried. How am I going to make money? How am I going to be profitable? It's the tangible that's actually holding you back. Cancerian energy, the chariot energy is here saying there are definitely ways to move forward. You want to move forward, but it's almost like, okay, but how am I going to fund this? Right? Okay. That's a, that's a, a, so let's keep asking. Wait, first we have eight of cups. I want to clarify the eight of cups. Why is the eight of cups here? The Hierophant and the Queen of Swords, you're making some very, the Hierophant is you. You're making some really important decisions now and you are thinking of going in a different direction, but why are you thinking of going in that different direction? It's probably got to do with creature comforts and finances. And sometimes we just have to take risks including not being so comfortable for a while. And that may be what you're struggling with is, oh, you know, this natural sense of responsibility, especially financial responsibility. And it could pull me into a direction that I won't like as much, but I'll feel comfortable. I'll feel dignified. I'll feel like I've done the right thing. But simultaneously, are you doing the right thing by giving up on that hard road that will lead you to where you actually want to go. In other words, Taurus, what I'm saying is I think you already have the answer. You just don't want the answer because it is asking you to take a risk and risk is something that is very difficult for you, but Uranus is in Taurus right now. So it's asking you to do something that you haven't done before. Ah, direction we have here the star card and what does that mean the star card means that you know what your dreams are they're very clear you have goals and aspirations set so that tells me a little bit of revelation here that yeah you're you already have your answers your answers are just it's like and i don't mean to be judging i tell you guys not to judge yourself i don't mean to be judgy but it's like you're trying to be, you're trying to make sense out of something that's not supposed to make sense. It's your gut. You know, your gut, it's not your emotions, but your gut is telling you, I've got to keep going. I've got to keep going. But your logic is saying it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to go that direction. Okay. But it's so clear, the things that you really... So here, here, here's what I'm going to offer you. <sighs> There's not only two paths. There's not. There's an infinite amount of possibilities. And it could be that you're limiting yourself to, I either do this or I don't. Instead of, I have this. I've worked for this. I have this experience. I know myself better now. 
what is the next opportunity out there for me to use these skills? Instead of just, I do it, I don't. See what's out there and how you can apply what you already have. What is this new direction that Taurus is taking or thinking of taking? Could have something to do with marriage as well. Knight of Wands. Okay, so you are really thinking more with your gut now than with anything else. And Knight of Wands is a push forward, move forward, go for it. That's the message that he sends. You could also be dealing with somebody who is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person would be very attractive, but also very exciting, but not stay around for long. Once again, and we talked about this with the astrology, something doesn't have to last forever in order to be valuable. And ultimately, there's a sense of go for it, go with the flow. This isn't about setting your roots down yet. This is about transit. This is about motion. This is about going somewhere new and taking your shot. Let's get into the extended reading to see where this leads you. I'll see you guys there. The links are below.